que están son los malos. <laughs> Mechanically, she seems okay. Brakes are good too. Buttercup! <laughs> no, it's not a name I thought out. The old lady that I bought the truck from used to call her Buttercup. 1990 something Nissan Hardbody pickup. You guys in the States like to call them mini trucks. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure if this one is deserving of that name. <laughs> right, so there we have it, buttercup, <laughs> um, quite a bit of weight reduction, that's a nice, a nice big hole as well, tires are actually still almost brand new, I mean look, it's still got those little rubber what do you call these subtle things? Still got them on, eh? Dove grey bin liner. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit very well. Tailgate is missing. More weight reduction. Uh, but from the rust, it's quite a bit of concrete or cement as well. Just a bit of a clean up and we're good again. I don't think this really ugly back bumper is serviceable anymore. Jeez, that's ugly. Well, with all this weight reduction, surely the payload should be more now. I see there's quite a few holes here in the bonnet or the hood. Must be for improved airflow. Keep that motor cool. Girl is missing. And we still have headlights. Turn signals, kind of. There's quite a bit of free air flow here as well. I think you could plant something here. Yeah, unfortunately the door handle is missing, but there is a way to open the door. I'm going to show you. See this wire? You must just pull it and then you can open the door. Nothing wrong with that. Oops. Interior. A little bit of modifications here by the ignition switch. Steering wheel is not fully intact anymore. Custom upholstered seats. And a dash with patina. Let's see what she's packing under the hood. Oh, can actually open as well. There we go. Look at that, eh? Come closer. If I'm not mistaken, it's 2.4 liters of naturally aspirated pure power. I mean, just look at these headers. That seat looks pretty new. And that clamp. 
several air horns or alarm things, I don't know. <laughs> I think this overflow bottle for the radiator needs to be replaced by a nice Jack Daniels bottle. But you know what, this little engine actually still runs very good. Doesn't smoke, doesn't seem to be using any oil. It's actually still packing quite a bit of punch. Let's have a look in here. <laughs> You know, the chassis is actually still in very good condition. Mechanically, this, this little mini truck <laughs> is in good nick. The brakes work very well. Prop shaft, prop shaft looks okay. Differential, just looking at it, looks good. Let's try. You know, these trucks were tough as nails in their day. <laughs> so I just want to see if there's any oil leaks in here by the engine. And the gearbox, uh, I'll just have a quick peek. Uh, gearbox is dry, but there's a little bit of a drip right here. Where the engine meets the gearbox. <laughs> so probably that main seal is leaking a little bit. I don't think I'm going to stress too much about that. I'm just going to try and feel the discs up front. I can get my hands in there. No, that's not quite possible. Uh, yeah. Hey, front discs are feeling great, eh? Take the wheel off later. Have a good look. <laughs> so what's the plan, Stan? Oh, Buttercup here is going to become a cool little rat truck. Obviously, it's what I do. Now it's easy to throw money at this and buy a pile of shiny aftermarket performance parts and bolt it all together. I think that's kind of boring. I think it's a lot more challenging to see how far you can go without spending any money or as little money as possible. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to change old buttercup here into a cool rat truck using the rubbish I've got, scrap I've got. <laughs> Being innovative, fabricating, carrying on, trying to spend as little money as possible. For a start, I will unbuttercup <laughs> the truck, get rid of the yellow bits, sell it for the scrap metal value, get a little bit of money back, keep the running drive train chassis, maybe some bits and pieces from the cab. I've got this old Chevy cab in my collection of junk so I can use that unfortunately the doors are missing bit of a problem with a bit of luck I might find some doors somewhere and I always I'll just make some doors or we'll come up with a plan also got this nose clip that belongs to that Chevy cab a little busted here got quite a few dents here don't have the hood, we'll see where we go. So I'd like to keep a list of my expenses and my costs. It will be quite difficult to compare between different countries. I work in South African RAND, some of you guys are in the States, US dollars, some guys is in Canada, Canadian dollars. So to compare between different countries is quite tricky with exchange rate and earning capacity. So whilst I will be writing down the numbers, I think the value will be lying in looking at my list of materials. And then maybe you could uh, compare to where you are for the same list of materials and see where it ends up. The mission then to build the coolest little rat truck possible for as little money as possible. And the first thing on my list of materials, one by clapped out donor truck, but it's mechanically still pretty good. I bought it for 8,000 South African rands, and that includes papers, tags, and title. Now in South Africa, cars are generally quite expensive. I'm sure you'd be able to buy something like this for a couple hundred dollars in the States or anywhere else except here. I've got a running donor truck. I've got that nice Chevy cab with some great patina. 
I've got the nose clip. What more does a man want? Yeah, okay, so the fan ball is screaming a bit. No big deal. Rust. And dust. Hey, thanks for watching my carrying ons out here in the forest. Until next time when I start ripping this thing apart. Have a good one. And remember, in dust and rust, we trust. Or will it be in dust and trust, we rust?